Hello Aries and welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your next three months tarot reading for the sign of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So I hope you're well. Remember this reading won't be for everyone. Take what resonates for you as always. I've got a cold at the moment Aries so bear with me. I might sound a little bit uh, raspy with my voice but hey let's see how it holds. So I'm going to pull an angel and or some angel and oracle cards for you to really see the energies and the messages for you for the next three months first. So let's see what we have for Aries. And what I've done, Aries, is I've taken the relevant cards from your yearly 2023 tarot reading. So to start with January, we have the Ten of Wands. Queen of Swords is February and we have the Knight of Wands in March. What I do like to see is two out of three of the months is fire energy which is your element dominating so what do we have for Aries compromise be open to compromise this can sometimes be not having everything our own way be open to meeting people in the middle um, this can be that kind of energy of, of compromise will serve you well that energy of compromise Let's see what else we get, Aries. I'm going to pull you an Archangel Michael card. What do we have? Okay, that flipped over. We have number 34, Trust in Divine Purpose. This experience has divine meaning. Healing will come. Know that you are on a path of growth. I'm going to pull you a fortune cookie and see what message we have for you. Message for that flipped out. <laughs> okay, we have luck. It's a nice card. A sudden change of luck is likely. Things are working in your favor. Excellent time for networking. This can be about right time, right place scenarios. Uh, people coming into your life that are just meant for a specific purpose, synchronicities, coincidences, all of that kind of energy is all about luck. Can be also things like lucky breaks as Aries. And these readings can be about the small day-to-day -day things, but the big things also that are coming your way too. So I'm going to pull you a colour card and see what message we have. What do we have for Aries, please? Next three months. message for Aries we have blue activate your healing power number 37 healing power is, it definitely feels obviously healing and health but it can be about things like improving improvement improving experiences recovery Let's see what we have for you. What do we have for Aries, please? Starting with January 2023, message for Aries. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through the overarching themes that I'm feeling, and then we'll go through the individual months and the individual cards uh, what, that I'm drawn to, because a lot can happen in a month, let alone three months, in different areas of our life, Aries. So let's see what we have for Aries, please. We have the Seven of Wands, Page of Swords, and we have the Sun. The sun is the most positive card in the tarot deck. It can represent light after dark, happiness, good news, celebration, joy, happiness, but it's the most influential card in the tarot deck. So lovely when it comes out because it always makes things better. Let's see what we have. What do we have for Aries in February, please? Message for Aries. We have the Nine of Cups. King of Wands can be you, Aries. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, male or female. And we have the Knight of Pentacles. Let's see what we have for you in March. I definitely see a theme here already in money areas. Yeah, we have 
Very good happy energy with the Three of Cups. The Six of Wands, fire energy again. And the Nine of Pentacles, yeah. I was, I was feeling very good in terms of money areas in particular. And let's start with that Ten of Wands energy, Aries. It's your element. There is absolutely no question that fire energies do work very hard. This can be somebody who can do a lot. Somebody who is really puts in the effort and the energy in their money career finances and is not afraid to do the hard work. But sometimes it can become too much. Now, this is where that happy balance, and I'm seeing that in terms of compromise, because the scales are that everything has to be in balance here. And that's what this Queen of Swords is all about as well. She likes things in balance um, as an energy, you know. So the Ten of Wands can be, you know, when something has become too much. Uh, now, that could be the experience that you're going through right now. Uh, this can be about putting effort and energy into getting employment. Uh, but it can also be about being in uh, employment here, Aries, but it's become too much. You want to be free of it. You want to be free of an experience. Now, that could be in terms of how you're treated. It could be the actual work that you're doing, the environment, the office politics, what the company asks of you, um, work ethics, you know, all of that kind of thing might not be working for you. Because this can be the opportunity to actually say, actually, no, I don't want to carry this anymore. I don't want to keep on doing this anymore. This is, I have done more than my fair share, but this experience has become dominating. It could be about long working hours. Like I said, it could be about company ethos, the treatment that you're experiencing, the over-delegation, you're doing your work and everybody else's, you know, and you're taking so much on, but are you getting recognized and paid for that? You know, this is the questions that you will be asking for yourself in employment and experiencing this kind of energy. So you're looking for to lighten the load and that's the energy that I'm seeing here, Aries, because it's all about, Seven of Wands is all about standing firm. It's all about persevering on a path to defend and protect what you believe in now these energies together can be you know constantly feeling like you have to justify yourself constantly feeling like you have to second guess yourself and even feeling like you have to be on defense and ready for anything uh you know even if you're not actually practically experiencing that straight away you know this is somebody who constantly feels like they they have to be defensive so this can be there's reasons for this this can be about being undermined people snapping at your heels people questioning your authority your ideas your approach you know uh, your work ethic this can be about defending and firefighting you know but absolutely standing firm. And actually, there is a, a strong energy here, Aries, with the Seven of Wands, that whatever opposes you, you're stronger than that which opposes you. I'm remembering that because that's definitely the energy here. There's a strong sense of self-belief and what you, what you stand for and what you believe in and having the courage of your own convictions here to stand firm, you know, in whatever you're facing in this scenario. And that's what I'm seeing here. But it can also be things like, certainly if this was about getting employment, it cannot, these two energies can be about perseverance to actually lighten the load, perseverance to finally release from a situation and lighten the load of a situation, because it definitely feels like there's some good news here. Uh, the Page of Swords with the Sun, it feels like very good news coming your way. Uh, the Sun is a, a major arcana, so this is always linked with success in money readings. The sun is a card of new abundance. It can be about light after dark, like I said. Good news, celebration, joy, happiness coming in. So it definitely feels like you have an opportunity to liberate from a situation that's not serving you anymore. And there's some good news coming in that does bring significant happy change. Um, definitely a feeling of you finding the right path moving forward here, Aries. The path is lit. Uh, but it just feels like that divine energy, the sun is divine energy, it's all about um, spirit having our backs, you know, everything becoming clear, uh, very good in terms of, 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 like I said, good news, celebration, joy, happiness. So this is the thread that I'm seeing for you. I'm going to go through the individual 
energy is and pull more out but I was getting really picking up on one common theme so I'm going to stick with that for now because this is all about getting things back into balance and understanding what serves you and what doesn't serve you now there could well be decisions or choices could also be somebody is with that page of swords communicating to you between you know end of January to February here Aries because this just lifts your spirits we have this really heavy energy and then we have this real kind of happy energy you're getting what you're getting your wish you're getting what you want this is you're satisfied you're content and I love the fact that two nines are appearing in your reading it's the positive nines so this is really happy energy this can be also very celebratory getting exactly what you want and feeling content with the end result here that's the energy here you know this person sits there and says look at me I've amassed all these trophy cups they're all full and and brimming with with happiness and overflowing with fulfillment here and they're lined on a trophy shelf to show to the world you know so there's this sense of, of you feeling that kind of energy you saying yeah this is what I'm all about and even those people who are kind of snapping at your eels, heels the people or the person that really wanted to kind of like undermine you you know question your motives quest make you you know really wanting to make you question yourself and your own abilities and make you question that you are less than what you are that is the energy that I'm seeing here this is absolutely you coming back into your power and saying yeah but look at me look you know I have I've got a level of achievement here I have reasons to celebrate because news has come in which is allowing me to cut cords in, with this situation here and lighten the load cut the dead weight that's not serving me that's actually only weighing me down in my life that's what I'm seeing here Aries for you because the Knight of Pentacles is somebody making you an offer and it's almost like you can and it actually looks like this offer is going to be better than you expected and it might even be it might even get the person or the people that you were dealing with in a current work scenario it might get their backs up there could be, could well be jealousy here because it looks like this is a very good job offer business opportunity that brings great change for you and allows you to cut cords with this situation that you were dealing with but there could well be a level of of leaving those people peeved you know quite rightly because there's such this energy of again victory celebration joy uh, nine of pentacles moving into you know it feels like you're starting with uh, potentially a new team a new work environment and the nine of pentacles is feeling abundant feeling fulfilled feeling satisfied being paid what you're worth uh, this is somebody who is material is experiencing material success wealth um, recognition for what they do valued for what they do paid for what they do the status for what they do the responsibility for what they do feeling very very good and you're just like yeah I've overcome the challenge and I, I'm claiming the victory here so you're putting whatever this challenge was behind you and feeling empowered and moving on so that's what I'm that, that's what I'm seeing this is a great card of achievement success but also getting noticed and recognized for what you're worth here Aries and like I said there could well be this, this could represent a next level up in the sense that you did all the work before potentially but you didn't get the promotion or recognition because it's almost like this person didn't want to give you credit or at least one person or the company ethos didn't want to recognize you or give you credit for what you did because it was an ego thing it was a pride thing it was a threat thing as well that's for sure and I'm definitely seeing that but you're getting it anyway you're getting it anyway February to March the and the Knight of Wands and the Three of Cups Three of Cups is also reasons to celebrate but it can also be people who around you your community are really happy and supportive for you because we have the Knight of Wands this is also linked with the opportunity that I see is is with this Knight of Pentacles but the added meaning with the Knight of Wands is very empowering because it's it's fire energy which is your energy and it's almost like you're grabbing hold of the opportunity that you've now got and say I'm out of here I am out of here you know adios I am moving on and that's the energy here it's moving forward and bringing change in your life 
positive changes because you've got the green light that you've been waiting for that gives you an opportunity to just escape to depart from a situation that no longer serves you I'm definitely seeing that kind of energy now it's interesting this compromise energy I don't see it compromising in money areas there is no compromise here Aries the thing is what I'm seeing here is if this was a current work scenario that you were dealing with spirit is telling you don't settle don't settle for less than you deserve and that's what I'm seeing here this is not about you know compromising on your own value and your own worth but actually getting what you deserve and it does look like I'm moving in a direction of what you deserve and nothing less than that actually in terms of your value and appreciation but also in terms of money but I definitely feel like these there was a sense of someone being threatened by you um, yeah this is luck is on your side you're going to be very lucky in the next few months and even things are going to unfold in a very synchronistic manner here and you will catch that kind of lucky break because it brings the significant change in its wake and allows you to embrace improvement healing recovery move to a better healthier environment in money terms so I'm going to go through that's what I'm seeing in money areas money was very very prominent for me in this reading uh, but a lot of action in dealing with this a lot of action energies a lot of fire energies throughout this reading so recognizing your own power and not letting people define you because the Emperor doesn't you're the Emperor in the tarot deck the Emperor is somebody who really you know will stand their ground in the face of adversity and not be pulled under this is somebody who but I know my sense of self you know so let's go through any other areas that I'm pulling out for you here Aries because really the the focus interestingly enough it definitely feels like there's a, a major focus in terms of money areas for you I don't really have that many cups areas the only cups that I've got is the three of cups uh, which is interesting Aries because this definitely feels like this is the only kind of cup energy that I've got in the whole reading there's just a strong sense here of, of sorting out some oh yeah and the nine of cups there's just a strong sense of, of sorting something out for yourself in money areas and cutting cords and embracing a healthy reality that's far more important to you in the next quarter and that's what I see happening and you have that divine wind behind you to do that uh, so definitely very empowering and positive in money areas in particular I will also say that if you have also been helping somebody else or you know dealing with some kind of health issue here Aries these energies can actually be about persevering until the job is done this definitely feels like there is some kind of opportunity to liberate from some kind of burden and weight that may have been taxing for you uh, so it could well be you yourself or supporting it could be a friend family or love love romance partner in an area of your life in overcoming some kind of health issue or burden that they've been dealing with this can be about being strong for other people you know uh, and helping persevere through a situation these are these cards I mean either way this is just good news uh, page of swords and the sun is is really good news so it looks like if there has been some health issue potentially because that's what I'm drawn to here and again this can be to do with a healthy environment as well of work uh, it could well be in terms of a healthy environment where you live uh, but absolutely health issues in particular because we do have this healing energy as well definitely an energy here of good news in January might lift away a burden and just allow you to liberate from that situation completely and that's what I'm seeing for you in January because the good the Sun is all about healing and regeneration and us coming back to ourselves as well and liberating from what's gone so these energies are very liberating from the burden that has been carried it that would have been from even December onwards into January as well with this ten of wands but there's a strong energy here if you get to liberate from that situation here Aries 
Now, other messages that I'm getting for you, uh, because you are front and center in your February month, uh, we have the King of Wands, male or female, you're in your power, you're on your throne, and you feel empowered this month. This is definitely a month where you're going to come back into your own. Um, and it's everything that you've set up in January is feeding through into your success in February. So you might be taking the lead in taking action areas in particular life areas. This is all about choosing what you want in your future, the vision that you want your life to be in your future, and taking the initiative, taking charge, and taking the lead in whichever life area. I will say if you are, there's a strong sense with the Knight of Pentacles and the nine of wands and the queen of swords there could be some kind of conversation with a person or conversations ongoing here that actually you make an offer if you're making an offer or buying a purchase an asset a property that could be real estate that could be um buying something making an offer on a car uh, like i said it could be a product or a service for example you're getting what you want it's going to be very successful and certainly if you've been saving towards this, this seems to be the month where you can actually make that purchase. That could actually be, you know, uh, changes that are coming in in, in February, uh, sorry, in January, lead to you maybe making a purchase, um, an offer, for example, on a product services service or property in some way or asset in some way. This feels like very positive energy for you. So that's definitely what I'm seeing for you in, in terms of February time. And there could also be in, in March time, the Nine of Pentacles and the Six of Wands. There is a sense here, Aries, of somebody wanting to catch your attention. This is where I see any kind of like inkling in terms of love romance for those of you who are single in particular, because there may well be some kind of social gathering or event. I mean, this can be going out for a drink with friends. It could be a formal event. I mean, that could be anything in terms of workplace. It can be in terms of personal, you know, family get togethers, celebrations, whatever this is. There could be somebody coming in who, who wants to catch your attention here and they're exciting. Sometimes, you know, we see the Knight of Wands as a bit of a player, but not always, not all the time. He does get a bit of a bad rap for that. This can be quite an exciting opportunity. Somebody who sparks your passion, chemistry, a lot of attraction with this person as well, male or female. But there's definitely an energy here, Aries, with the Six of Wands and the Knight of Wands. Again, for those of you who are single, who really don't particularly, you don't, this is the energy where you don't need a relationship, you choose one, you know, because this is somebody who can stand on their own two feet in their, feet in their own self-worth, in their own abundance. So this is, you feel attractive, you feel good about life on your own, uh, not necessarily having to, like I said, not needing a relationship, but you choose one because not afraid of being independent either with this nine of ones energy. So this definitely feels like there is some kind of spark or chemistry with a person here, and it could well be at some kind of gathering, uh, but it definitely feels like this can go places uh, because it's fire energy and they catch your interest because you recognize that fire energy within them and it sparks it within you. So this definitely feels like a positive time for singles in particular, of getting some kind of new spark uh, because again the knight of wands in terms of love romance relationships is very exciting and actually things can actually move very quickly this would be somebody who who knows what they want and they they do, then they're, they're not afraid to say it and and as an aries and being a fire energy you appreciate that you like that you like somebody who tells it you like it is you like somebody who really is is just very open and tells you what they want and they go for it you actually are attracted to that kind of energy and too. So I feel this is somebody who is wanting to promote themselves and get noticed by you, but it definitely looks like it can go somewhere Aries. That's what I see for March time for you. Overall, these, these cards are very, very positive. I mean, you know, we have this burden, but it's a 10. I feel you've been dealing with this situation from December coming into January. This is really where you're resolving it. I feel from kind of like mid-January onwards, Aries, 
this just seems to get very better and fall into place and knowing that you're just very lucky in the next three months lucky isn't a kind of um luck is is never uh, happenstance or coincidence for me luck is all about divine timing and orchestration the fact that it's your time to come into your own and really from february onwards i see that for you quite strongly you're very very good cards indeed okay i'm going to pull you a final card final message for aries final message for aries thank you yeah, stay hopeful, Aries, because it's there. We have hope. Hope is always there, even if we can't see it. Optimist, optimistic expectations can help change a negative situation into a positive one. Yeah, I feel that you're understanding how to release from this kind of weight. Really coming into January, but as soon as you do, everything just feels like, feels like it falls like a domino effect in very positive progress and moving forward. That's what I see for you, Aries. There is that rainbow there for you. That's what I have. I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I wish you a wonderful next three months and I will see you next time.